Taylor. And I'm Nora. And welcome to season five, episode two of Dough, Dough with the, the Flow. Flow. Today we're making Eccles cakes. What are those? I don't know. We're gonna find out. It seems like kind of maybe like a, a ham pie of sorts. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, it's like free form, yeah. no mold. Put a filling in, press some sides together. Seems like a Maybe. nice kind of fall treat, honestly. Absolutely. I'm pretty excited. Do you have to make puff pastry? <laughs> yep. We'll see how puffy it gets. Yeah. Hope. See how well that goes. Hopefully we can get enough folds in. Lots of butter. Lamination. Buzzwords. <laughs> okay, let's make some pastry. Woo! Luckily there are step-by-step -step drawings to help us out. It's the first time we've had that. Yeah, it's pretty, it seems good. pretty necessary. Yeah, so first make the flaky pastry. Let's do it. Measure the flour into a bowl. And we're going to uh, <laughs> sift the flour from a height. Yes. Because that's, it says it'll make light pastry. We need to get air everywhere. Yes. So there are tips on how to get the most air into your pastry. It says you should sift it from a height and lift your hands well above the bowl when rubbing the butter in. So, so everything's happening up here today. How much flour? Um, 225 grams of plain flour. Look at all that air, Taylor. Woo! Let it snow, let it snow. <laughs> okay, it's only October. So, <laughs> sorry, we aren't making this in December. So we need to cut six, <laughs> six ounces of butter into four equal parts. That's easy. So we do thirds, right? Basically, we're gonna and do a half. It's gonna be not quite per perfect, but if we do, it's gotta be pretty perfect. Okay. Well, first we need to cut this one in half. Okay. If I cut this in half and then take a third of each one for a separate portion, that would technically be... Yeah. That's true. correct, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Except... Does that look like a part? So I, so I guess you just put it all in, but and then, then lift it. it. Okay, <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm not sure. <laughs> just, just grab just some raw butter. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. Okay. You want to do it? Sure. <laughs> oh my gosh, shifted flour is just so soft. So witchy. <laughs> um, what are we looking for? Resembles fine bread crumbs. Yep. From a height. <laughs> Resembles it from a height. You get way up high. <laughs> Does it look like bread crumbs yet? So now we're going to add some lemon juice and water. Um, it says a squeeze of lemon juice, <laughs> so not much. I don't know how much that is at all. I would just squeeze it once with your hands. Now I've got a buttery lemon. <laughs> is that a drink? We're going to mix it with a round bladed knife is what it says to form a soft dough. We thought that might be like a pastry cutter thing, but when we Googled it, it looked more just like a like, like a this. giant palette knife, which uh, we happened to so acquire. We're going to try that, see how that goes before we then turn it out and knead it. It says roll out into an oblong three times as long as it is wide. See figure one. <laughs> how would it ever be that rectangular? <laughs> oh no. Dot a second portion of the butter in small pieces over the top two thirds of the pastry. So like just here up. Hmm? Just covering two thirds of it? Yeah. Leaving a third blank. I'm just confused what you mean by up because to me that's up. Oh well I just then look <laughs> at the picture and oh, okay. it's like towards you. So then we fold the empty third over. Okay. And it looks like we also then fold the I think we do, yeah. Yeah. So it makes two layers at yeah. once. It just seemed weird to put the butter on <laughs> and then how's it gonna stay? Alright. <laughs> um then seal the edges well with the edge of your hand. 
Oh, yeah, it shows blank. <laughs> that kind of thing. Keep the butter in there. We've seen this. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we're going to wrap it in uh, cling wrap and let it sit in the fridge for about 50 minutes to relax <laughs> in a nice cool environment. So we have our dough out of the refrigerator. Um, yeah, so we're gonna essentially just repeat that a couple more times. Yeah, we so, just spent the last 15 minutes discussing what this recipe means. It's really not clear, it's, but we've come to an agreement. Yeah, so it says re-roll pastry as before, always starting with the folds of the dough on the left. We decided that was the final fold. So we're thinking it's basically indicating that you should rotate it. Yes. And not just always roll it out the same way. Okay, this is a lot. All right, so first we're gonna make our filling. Um, and let it chill for a little bit longer in the fridge while we do this. It should be pretty simple. So um, we just mix the butter, sugar, mixed spice, candy peel, and currants. So now we are going to roll it out thinly and cut into eight rounds that are about six inches in diameter each. Let's see. I think we do it this yeah. way. We want to cut like right up to the edge and kind of just go in. Mm -hmm. Okay, go for it. Need a knife. Okay, so first we dampen the pastry edges with water, close them, okay. and flatten them. So I think we can do all yeah, that now. Here. Okay, and now we'll make them smaller. It's like we're making wrappy little here. We're doing oh yeah, as if we've just done that. that plenty of times. So you're thinking, just like seal it up like a like a queen among. That's no what. <laughs> I'm just making it like a lot of things. And then we turn it over. Yeah, so that the sealed part is hidden. And then we'll flatten them later with the rolling pin. <laughs> sure. Yeah, sure. So, okay. It, yeah, I wish I knew what a necklace cake looks like. <laughs> Reshaped, I know. It has this nice diagram for making the pastry, but like, why not? <laughs> Can we also get a picture or even a little drawing? Make three small cuts in the top. Like lines, like a star, what kind of, just like three lines, yeah. You don't think it would be cute if it's sure. like Sure. Do whatever you want. Get creative, Nora. How big? Not, it says small. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's like an isopropyl. These are probably sugared. <laughs> probably. They're definitely sugared. <laughs> this, is, this is very weird. This is really weird. They feel so doughy. <laughs> Clay lumps. Okay, we got eight. <laughs> we did. Somehow, it's a miracle, but we got eight. It's been a little over fifteen. Minutes we've been checking it, they kept looking pale. It smells a lot like cooking butter in here right now. Um, oh my goodness. <laughs> this doesn't seem right. <laughs> but they're hard. For the most oh no, <laughs> they're not that golden. They're not that golden. Do you think we should give it a couple more minutes? Then some leakage. We could. There's so much grease on that tray. Just Is butter it? everywhere. Yeah, that and then like some filling was leaking. Like, <laughs> like muscovado sugar rolling around. Oops. Sure, we'll do it a little longer. Cause it could just be affected by how much egg and stuff. Yeah. So yeah. We'll do it a little longer. Yeah. I'm trying to make it a little browner. <laughs> <All right. laughs> yeah. Seems flaky. Yeah. Right? <laughs> so skeptical. Hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The flavor of the filling's definitely there and good. <laughs> I didn't get very much in this bite. It was mostly yeah, folded pot pastry. But I got pastry. like some currants or something. I think as I work towards the middle, it should be a better flavor mm -hmm. mix. The pastry's good. Definitely flaky. 
I don't feel like it's too thick or anything. Yeah, kind of chewy. Mm -hmm, a little bit Because of still. all the raisins or whatever currants and stuff. Yeah, so very like plump and juicy and spicy and yeah. I think this one maybe is better assembled. Mine, you can see I have big mm. fat dough zones, <laughs> which are also all over my body. <laughs> <laughs> I like that the outside of it is all flaky and kind of mm -hmm. almost feels and looks like it's been like cracked. <laughs> but I know it's baked. Yeah, and then the inside is just nice and chewy and soft. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some flavors are just really good all um, around. It's not like falling apart as I eat into it, really. Yeah, and I think that's nice. I feel like sometimes flaky pastry is just too flaky. So, spoons of water, of please. cold water, right? Cold water, please. One Grecian spoon. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be an exciting eight tablespoons.